Hello, 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 everybody. It is Monday. Um, by now, you have seen the second part of me doing random shit with my truck to try to get it into tip top shape. And if you watched until the end of the video, you know that uh, my transmission is like really pissed. Like pissed to the point where it just quit. It just, you know, decided to quit the job of transferring power from the engine to the wheels. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm getting caught up on uploads. This will probably be the third day in a row that I'm actually uploading. But I'm gonna keep keep you guys posted. I'm gonna bring you guys along through this whole process of um, getting a new transmission. Um, still kind of up in the air as of right now whether we're gonna do the 4L65E or if we're just gonna send it in to get completely rebuilt and maybe even beef up the 4L60E. Um, where I'm leaning is the 4L65E swap but that also relies on a couple of things. I could do it on the ground. I could because I have a jack and my truck is high enough. I can drop the drive shaft, unbolt the the bell housing, get the transmission mounts undone, unmounted, whatever. Uh, have my jack on the transmission and then drop the transmission pretty easily. But it'd be convenient if I could get into my boss's shop, as I think I talked about. I can't remember. I have a horrible memory. I'm very scatterbrained. I have a lot to think about. Um, but yeah, I'm leaning towards the 4L65E swap. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of all the information I have right now. Actually, I do have some more information. So, for the... 4L60E, they they used that like iteration of the 4L60 plus, I think to well, the 60 and the 65, that those are the same exterior case transmissions with the 4 speed of that generation. Um, the 4L60, depending on what size of engine you got in your truck, like, uh, I think the 4.8 gets the 293 millimeter input shaft and the 5.3 LS application, which my truck has. You get the, I don't know why I pointed over there. My truck is still in pit, but anyway. LS application 5.3 for my year of truck. Um, you you get the <clears throat> seven bolt seven inch bell housing with the three hundred millimeter input shaft thirty spline and all of that probably sounds so obscure if you aren't really you know up to date but I got, I'm lucky I literally I just took a class over automatic transmission so I I, I at least know a little bit of what I'm talking about and I've obviously done a lot of research already trying to figure this out but okay back to my main point there are three different size and um, and configured uh, input shafts for the 4L60 E transmissions I don't remember what the third one is but I have the third option for the LS application of 300 millimeter 30 spline, 7 inch uh, bell housing, 7 bolt, uh, and then when they when they revised the 4L60E and turned it into the 4L65E, they went to strictly the 300 millimeter, 30 spline, 7 inch bell housing, and 7 bolt application. Probably because it 
is the strongest input of all three of the options. So um, that's that's kind of why I'm leading leaning towards there. Um, also, I I know I talked about this last time in the last video that that you saw probably yesterday, um, but. I'll just go over it again. The only real real difference between the transmissions, the 4L60E and the 4L65E, is one, the iterations of it, like the different versions. Two, the uh, front planetary carrier in the 4L60E has four pinions, which basically, they're, they're the planets around the sun gear inside of the planetary carrier. The 4L65E has five pinions for that planetary carrier, the front planetary carrier. So it is a it's a beefier uh, transmission. It it distributes uh, torque and power more more conservatively. We'll call it that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep guys updated. That's all I have for right now. Um, just wanted to put that in the beginning of the video in case you didn't see it at the last, or yesterday, you know. But, yeah. This will be probably a pretty long series, so look forward to that. And obviously, if you did see last video at the end, there's a lot more things that I have to do for the truck because I, I want to get it to where it is solid and I don't have to worry about anything and this is just the beginning but I didn't think it was going to be the beginning I thought that it wasn't a problem but now that it is it's going to be fixed first because obviously my truck isn't running so yeah. you guys update time again down in the gym you know what it is um, so I just got off the phone with my dad, I don't know, probably an hour ago. Uh, he's thinking that we're just going to send it to this place that is up in Joplin, which is like eh, about 30 minutes away from where my truck is stuck right now, which is in Pittsburgh. Um, so we're going to take it to this guy's shop. He apparently does a whole bunch of like uh, racing application and he can get the truck in pretty much immediately um, if we were able to get it in like today per se he probably would have had it done by like midweek next week uh, today by the way is Wednesday um, but we're gonna see if we can get insurance to tow the truck there so probably won't even get there to his shop until probably the beginning of the week next week which would be actually Tuesday because Sunday is the fourth um, what else what else what else um, pretty sure that instead of doing the swap with the 4L 65e and possibly have what happened with the rear end again where it you know we replaced it with a junkyard rear end which you know shit happens sometimes you gotta do it when your truck is down and I got like I don't know probably 30,000 miles out of that rear end before I had to replace it again because it seized up and grenaded but um yeah I think the plan now is full tear down and full rebuild of that 4L60 that's already in the truck. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. I'm just kind of hanging out, getting some carpooling in with with uh, Andy. He's upstairs right now. But yeah, I'm going to finish my workout, and if I think of anything else... I'll hop on the camera again and let you guys know.